This isn't nobody else. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You talked to who? Carl, the manager of the motel. Why? Whose you idea? We were in festival. Why did you tell him that? Why shouldn't she? What did you tell him? Tell me what you told him. Tell me exactly. I didn't tell him anything to get you into anything. We agreed we weren't going well, to tell. Well, the only ones have even seen him. I ain't seen Don't him. you think that's a little weird? We got people all around us. So what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying it's a little weird. You already said that. That is uh, Namir Smallwood and Carrie Coon, of course, and what a lot of people are saying is the most intense and thrilling staging of the great psychological drama Bug, written by the great Tracy Letts. Story of some desperate souls in a motel room as paranoia and conspiracy close in. Feeling all the more timely given the current state in our country. Kuhn is terrific in the central role, and she also happens to be in the number one movie in America right now, starring in it, Ghostbusters Afterlife, where she's the daughter of the late Dr. Egon Spangler, who was played by the great Harold Ramis in the original. And we are so happy to have in studio with us Carrie Kuhn. Congratulations, first of all. I <laughs> could not you. be happier. Thank you so much. You are just having a great time right now. I am, shockingly, in a pandemic, uh, I'm having a great career. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, just before the pandemic started, you were here with us. Mm -hmm. Bug was just opening. Yes. And then everything in the whole world, including theater, uh, shut down. And you were just sort of sidelined for a, yes. a little while. What was that like? And what was it like getting back? back to work again afterwards. It was uh, devastating, of course, because we none of us knew the outcome. I mean, we thought we'd be off for a couple of months, and of course, two years later, there we were. And as you can imagine, there's been so much attrition in my industry. So many people have left because they couldn't afford to stay. Because in this country, it's really hard to be an artist. And so Tracy and I, though, had been working so frequently that in some ways, it was a gift for us to be home in our house in Chicago. We've been on the road for the better part of five years. My son spent more time on airplanes than he did in cars. And so then we got to be home with my three and a half year old and and then we had another baby because we had nothing else to do yeah right you don't have enough going on right now just to have a <laughs> yeah. newborn a four month old yeah. on, on top of it um you, you mentioned tracy you're talking about tracy letts mm -hmm. your, your husband who wrote bug how intense is it for you as an actor to be in a production like this i mean it is classic steppenwolf it is <laughs> it like is. really nothing held back yeah i'm proud of that um you know there's a there's quite a precedent for the show the original part that namir plays was written for michael shannon when he was 18 years old and so it has this storied history in chicago and in new york where it ended up premiering and um, there, it feels like a lot of pressure to take on something like that. That was so. Um, people remember it when they, they they remember the original production. So there's, I don't know, this legacy you're stepping into. But it's shocking. The play was written 25 years ago. People listening to it now can't believe that. It just feels like it was written last week, unfortunately. Right. And so that's uh, intense, but fun. It's really fun to do. It was not like when the playwright is your husband. Are you <laughs> are you sitting around having breakfast, going past the orange juice? I want to change this line. Yeah, I say but why. Are you making me do this? Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah. He says, everybody keeps telling me how hard my plays are, but they are, they're really hard, you know, when they, they ask a lot of you as yeah. an actor. Um, so they, I complain. They have to be like incredibly gratifying though to really, a actors like to push the envelope and do things they've never Absolutely. done Absolutely, especially when yeah. it has such a visceral reaction yeah. for an audience. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then comes along this movie, <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife, that you filmed actually two years ago. Yes. That's been sitting on the shelf for a couple of years mm -hmm. as well, and then it hits the screens this past weekend. Yes. Number one movie in America. One of the only ones in yes, America. <laughs> yes, I mean, we didn't know how it was going to perform. We didn't know if people were ready to go back to the theater, but it's the perfect movie to bring people back. It's, it's for families, it's um, nostalgic. It feels like one of the great films we would have gone to see when we were younger. Um, a theater going experience, I think, that, some, that a lot of kids haven't had yet. And uh, what was it like for you to be doing scenes with some of the originals from the original Ghostbusters, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson mm -hmm. was there, Sigourney Weaver, Annie Potts. Uh, Honestly, it still doesn't feel quite real. It was, it was a really surreal experience. And I think one of the things we all recognized when we were in the room together was that Harold was missing. 
And so there was also something really touching about being there with the guys and with Jason who grew up on that set and Ivan and knowing that there was a piece. We all felt the piece that was missing. Yeah, part of being part of the original. Yes, exactly. Yeah, linking it back. Uh, and as if you are not uh, busy enough, <laughs> uh, I'm so happy for you. That <laughs> I feel got, I can tell. I'm Dean, just so, so happy when, like, when Chicago yes, actors, yes. things start to happen. It's so great. You're going to be in this new HBO uh, drama, The Gilded Age. Yes, what, that's a new that Julian about? Fellow show. He's, of course, the creator of Downton Abbey, and he's decided to make a show about the Gilded Age in America. And it seems, again, very timely because it's really about this incredible economic stratification that happened at that time with these billionaires, these new capitalists. And I play, um, you know, uh, the the wife of a of a railroad in, uh, industrialist, and she's determined to make her way into society at any cost. And so it's a lot of fun. She's really ambitious. She's modeled after Alva Vanderbilt. Do we know when that's going to be on? Yeah. Uh, it looks like we're going to premiere probably early next year. Okay. I think they announced the date, January 24th. All right. We'll keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, of course, uh, we've got Ghostbusters in theaters uh, right now. A lot of people are going to go see it for the Thanksgiving weekend. And Bug is running at the Steppenwolf Theater Company. Go see Carrie through December the 12th. Check out steppenwolf.org. Carrie Kuhn, thank you so much for being here. It's thank great you for having you. me. Happy Thanksgiving to you and Happy Carrie. Happy Thanksgiving to you. All the kids. Thanks. <laughs>